an extra level of pressure when you're portraying another human being who may come and watch your performance at yes. some stage. Yes, um, um, and also someone I, I regard as a friend uh, who I admire greatly. I got to know Gary Hart uh, by staying with him and we've stayed in contact ever since. And I was extremely nervous knowing he was gonna go and see the movie because I care about him, his legacy. I know how protective he is of his family. And the nature of the story is we are recounting possibly the worst three weeks of his life. So, or at least one of the weeks. So even if we did our job perfectly, I knew it was gonna be a difficult thing for him to watch uh, if he saw it, which he did. But yeah, I was, I was super nervous. You know, I've never done this before. I've never played someone who's alive who could pick up the phone, <laughs> yell at me. <laughs> Ooh, very great job, sir. Um, this is really a tipping point in history. Yes. Where the press go from being respectful mm. to getting into your private life. Mm. You've obviously done a lot of this for years and years. How do you draw a line? And also, I think sometimes it's more about the people in our family. We can handle whatever they say. So just talk and that, about that's, that. That's a really great point you bring up because I can tell you for Gary, his main concern over all of this, even at the time, was his family even more than his own presidential run. And I certainly, for me, it's not nearly as hard on me as it would be for a presidential candidate. Yeah. Uh, people want to know, they might be interested in my life or my marriage or my kids or whatever. But in the end, the main thing they want to do is, do I want to go and see his movie? Right, but when someone is going to run the country that your kids are living in and going to school to and tax and all that stuff, you, there is a, a bigger responsibility to find out what kind of person that is and will they actually be able to follow through on what they say. So the stakes are so much higher and it's easier for me to be able to back away. As a presidential candidate, you cannot. And this was that turning point where I think Gary felt, oh, I don't have to give up all of that. I don't have to give all of my private side up. I just have to tell everyone what I want to do with the country. And that was actually wrong. Well, it's ironic that it um, sunk his run. Yeah. And yet our current uh, people don't seem to be affected by it. It doesn't seem to be relevant anymore. No, it's really amazing how it's changed. Politics of personality started to come into it from that point on. And you look at other countries where for years I don't want to say which ones, but you know some of the European ones where, I don't know, fine. say you're having an affair, whatever. Are you going to, what's happening with the education system? But here it's completely different now, and uh, who knows how far it will go. This is a very serious role, yep. but people know you as somebody who sings and dances and is light. What makes you sing and dance in life? Are there moments that you just burst out singing and dancing? Absolutely. Uh, showers do it for me. Um, well, not dancing, that'd be dangerous, but I dance every day of my life and it's when I'm the happiest. Or swimming in the ocean or, you know, and I love to sing and it's, it's something that like, is like a hobby. Like some people say, oh, I want to play golf or water skiing or whatever it is. That's a hobby for me, but certainly being around my kids and my wife. I Embarrassingly for them is when I sing and dance the most. <laughs> um, this movie is set in the 80s. Yeah. Um, it's a very particular look and time. Mm. What were you doing in the 80s and how comfortable were you about inhabiting that look again? Is it something that is just... <laughs> so in the 87 when this happened I was a backpacker. I just left high school backpacking I just don't remember much of it at all. I think I was drunk for most of it. Uh, living off 10 pounds a day, probably not washing my clothes for like a week, something like that. I remember once the five of us booked one hotel room just so that we could wash our clothes in the bath. Uh, I slept on train stations, but the clothing of the 80s, uh, I kind of missed it because I had no money. So in the 80s, I was wearing my older brother's clothes, which were from the 70s. So I kind of skipped the 80s. Be glad my you wife did. misses it. She's like, can we bring back the big shoulder pads? She loved the shoulder pads. They said, hey. Thank you so much. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you again. Thank you very much. Pleasure.